chat. Hashtag butt crack indeed. Let there we go. Experience that. There we go. We got ourselves our game. Uh, things are not showing up here. There we go. Why is Stevie not showing up? There is Stevie. All right. Um, what is up with this game? Why am I not seeing? Why am I not seeing anybody? Control. This is. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, there we go. Hashtag butt crack. Hashtag butt crack. Okay, fired you. Wow. Is, that is my gift to you. Hashtag well, thank you for the gift. I'm going to rake leaves. Thank go rake leaves. With me, buddy. I'll be back hey. for Pudding's Hindi game. It was a lot oh, of wait. Is this wait, Pudding's Hindi? This is Pudding's Hindi. Yes. Oh, I told you to save. Uh, all right, I'll stick around for it. Sorry, I did it on maybe purpose. Everything you're doing is perfect, Pudding. On maybe purpose. <laughs> oh my god you like switch, the decorated one shirt change your discord so your people can come talk all right i'll move over to my discord let's do it and i'll see you guys in just a moment boink let's go all right so putin is in a hindenburg which is one of my favorite ships it's a very easy uh, ship to play. Turn my volume down? Really? Hashtag butt crack. Hashtag butt crack. Turn my volume. Okay, I'll turn it down. Uh, tell me now how that sounds. Is that is that is that okay? Lucy Spider says, "How long before Putin vanquishes all of the red team?" Let's find out. Putin is awesome. I agree with you, Mitty. Uh, Sick and awesome too. No says you said yesterday that you were more of a whiskey person. What are your top three whiskeys? Uh, my top whiskey, acceptable. My top whiskey is Maker's Mark. That's the big one that I drink. Uh, the second, I guess, would be Crown Royal. Because Crown Royal mixes really well with a lot of things. And my third, I have to give it to Jim Beam, but, but I really don't like Jim Beam anymore. If I drink too much Jim Beam, because it mixes so well with other things, I forget what happened um, in things. So, I, I have to go with Maker's or... Um, or or the uh, the Crown Royal. Are we gonna get Putin's insights? We'll see. Rum. Oh, so I've actually I've actually stumbled upon uh, Costco's spiced rum, and it is very freaking yummy. Pizza, pizza kid, pizza pizza kitty. Thanks for the follow. So I've been enjoying Costco Kirkland brand rum. Spiced rum. It's very cheap, very yummy, also very dangerous. Taken to a nice, comfortable place below deck, and you know, they can't refuse. <laughs> implication. There you go, Ral Santi. Everything about everything pudding does is perfect. I including taking those tours in the Malta. Yeah, that was the strategic play. Ah, okay. So I like the decision to not beach. He's turning away uh he's, he knows the island is in front of him so he's going into kite position this is okay this is good glenn levitt isn't that a uh, a scotch this is excellent ruick is absolutely correct this is excellent gameplay this is what we expected to see earlier today but sadly did not so we are now seeing it in replay format Why is there a comedy? Is there a comedy reason why you guys called it the Wooster, not the Wooster? I don't know. I, I, I'm guessing pronunciation is wrong, but I like to call it the Wooster. If it's the Wooster, that's fine. But you know, hey, hey, Chromo, what's up? So I tried Four Roses, met you. Uh, didn't really get into it, sadly. Scotch whiskey is good. Glenn Livet and Scotch whiskey. There's a Kirkland uh, blended whiskey and scotch too, which is nice. The reason Kirkland is because um, in order to drink what I drink, I need my wife on board with the spending for the drink of what I drink. And she likes things that are inexpensive. So, therefore, Kirkland brand is yummy. Um, although Makers, she understands, is important to me. Scotch whiskey. Scotch's whiskey bourbon isn't. Gotcha. Call it the Worcester, mate. Then you will be adored by UK players. Uh, I'm from Ohio, man. We have a town called Worcester. 
Do I want to be adored by UK? You're adored globally. I mean, it does. Yes. Oh, well, thank you. But does that mean like? Does that mean when you're talking about like Charleston, South Carolina, you would rather I call it Charlestown, South Carolina? Ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> but he says, "Careful." Yeah. There's, there's, a lot of, there's, a, there's a lot of French. <laughs> in, in South Carolina names. Makers of Sam's brand. Didn't realize GP knew about the Toledo area. Got it. Zario Mobs from the UK. I'm Welcome. From Cleveland, dude. Yeah. Where in the UK are you, sir? Place called Worcester, pronounced Worcester in the UK. Got it. Worcester? Worcester. I mean. There's an R in the spelling of the word, just so we're all clear. Hmm. We all ignore the R, but Waster completely ignores it. Look at that angling near perfection. Honestly, we haven't been talking much about what puddin has been doing, but I want to point out the fact that unlike the previous replay we saw, he's been kiting away, but much slower. Even though the Hindenburg's a slow ship in general, he's kiting away at uh, 12 knots at half speed. Which is perfect because it's allowing him to continue shooting at the Yamato. Gives him the ability to, to speed up and shoot. Now, Harugumo should be your target right now. Look at the minimap. Harugumo is detected. And you could have gotten at least one salvo into him. You chose not to. Instead, you're going to allow the Hayate to um, face the realization that he took a Hayate into random battles. Which, I, I get you there. I completely get you. The Hayate sucks. Who is greedy to put another fire on Yamato? Are you gonna ah. die in this pudding, PS? I just want you to know, I believe I end the game with four of my spotter planes, so I failed on your consumables there. Yeah, spotter uh -oh. plane doesn't really count as a consumable. It's a consumable, so it counts. <laughs> you know, do you remember? I didn't shoot at the Hayate or the Harakuma. Harakuma. The DDs were running away and. I wanted to get rid of the threat to me. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I was also kiting away so slowly is part of target. What one person looking at me? I, right. I can dodge those shells. If it right. was four, it would have been full panic W out of there. Sure, absolutely. And I would agree with you. I mean, you know how safe you are, relatively speaking, right? Well, yeah, because, like, yeah, I know I'm spotted. Like, I'm Battleship Hindenburg. But Button is a bit quiet. Okay. Nobody's targeting me. because I was a bit loud. Sorry. I guess so. We'll, we'll, we'll turn him up a bit for you, Dutch. The nice thing about the Hindenburg, we didn't talk about it yet, but with these 203mm guns, uh, they can penetrate one quarter of their caliber with HE too much. So one quarter of their HE, which basically means that they can penetrate 50 millimeters of armor. Which is dead sexy, right? Because penetrating that much armor means that you just chew up, especially uh, Russian cruisers, but just about everything else. Uh, Yamato, sadly, not so much. The deck armor is above 50, if I remember right. 7 millimeters, actually. I'm sorry, say it again, Shockwave? It's good. It's uh, 57 millimeters on Yamato, and it can also not penetrate Kremlin armor because it is uh, 60. 60. Deck. Yeah, Kremlin is 60. 60. Right. And I, I knew Yamato was above 50. Thank you. Uh, good. So. But it's still always worth to set them on fire because you never know. They might not have fire prevention. It's always best mm -hmm. to uh, blaze them, make them force a, force a DCP, and then blaze them again. That's right. That's right. Now, this is Shockwave coming in. Shockwave, did you cast King of the Sea today? I um, was not invited to cast Internationals. I was invited to cast uh, Regional Finals last week, however. Oh, okay. I cast it International. We used the uh, the clean RTMP feed. Had some fun hanging out with people, being able to chat with them live as things happened. It was yeah. kind of fun. It's pretty good, yeah. The ship is on fire. So, it's, um... Honestly, I was I, I came in to watch the last game because I woke up really late today and uh, well three zero. But you know, yeah, I said at the start of the tournament that PTA was going to win this and it would be a foregone conclusion because hey, 
C Raptor rating in with 98. Thank you, C Raptor. Hope you're having a, a good time over in Prague. I'm super jealous. I saw you brought a freaking cowboy hat. A freaking cowboy hat. How did that work out for you, dude? Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Lord Zath, and we're doing a uh, replay analysis. This is Budden in the Hindenburg. You are bloody hungry. That's Conway's hat, really. You're well, bloody hungry. No worries. I was going to say, it's funny to see Raptors here, because he advises not to run the Legendary to where I do run the Legendary. Ah. Because my attitude is this. The bad players are just going to sling AG all day at you. Okay. The good players know what to do in, like, the situation. So either you're going to get the, you know, big hits from the AP because they realize you're running the legendary. And if you're not running the legendary, you know, they're just going to burn your butt to the ground. So my concern is more of the, mm -hmm. I need to dodge the shells from the good players and prevent myself from the skillless shells of burning me out. Now, remember, guys, the unique upgrade for Hindenburg reduces the time it takes for you to be burning on full fire and flood in the Hindenburg. So, basically, it's a good it's a good upgrade to use if you um, anticipate being shot at by HE a lot, essentially. Um, and Sea Raptor says, "Go get food." Yeah, I've been watching. You guys are gonna go. Uh, I, I saw you're putting in reservations for your for your restaurant. I'm quite frankly amazed that uh, you guys were accurate in your decision of when to put in your reservations you have 33 minutes to make it to that restaurant on time i'm sure you'll make it there and i hope you have a safe trip home raptor and i hope you had a good time in prague i am jelly i hope you took lots of pictures uh emily bunny thank you for the follow by the way. So yeah, so you're just farming along. Is this going to be a 200k game? Everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Putting I don't have all four of my Hydro CP. Because <laughs> I decided to use... That was the use, perfect thing to do. I decided mm -hmm. to use my teammates to warn me about Torps coming at me. I love that. That's the passive Hydro. That That's exactly what I talk about a lot with my replay analysis. So that's good. That's good. Um, Something else I like is the fact that Puddin's just shooting the destroyers. As I said yesterday, shoot the DDs, they're the ones that win games. And if you can kill your the enemy destroyers, you give yourself a huge advantage in sure. spotting and area control. Now, Puddin yeah. lost a little bit of time uh, trying to go back to that Shimakaze. I don't know why you thought the Shima would just suddenly appear. I was hoping he'd do something stupid. Well, it is a random battle, so, you know, there's there's that a possibility always. Holland is going to burn out. Poor guy. Poor guy. Mecklenburg time. Oof, you against the Mecklenburg. Who's going to win that? Decent AP salvo from Mecklen coming in. All he was doing is buffing his adrenaline rush. That's true. Yeah. Dutch winning the giveaway. Congratulations, Dutch. Say something in chat if you are here. Oh, you said yay. There you go. Here's what I do though. Let the okay. Never mind. The Republic's dead because uh, Holland torpedoes. But I was about to say like if the Republic lived, just use him as a uh, meat shield against the. He, actually, and then just farm. He actually lived to the Holland torpedoes. Believe it or not, he oh, will probably he? die to the Malta torpedoes though. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Mecklenburg takes him down. Nice hit on the Holland pudding. This is what you do with, with the Hindenburg, though. You, you kite away, and you just shoot at the people that are trying to shoot at you. It's a relatively easy ship to play. Unfortunately, it means that, generally speaking, you don't... You, you, you aren't able to affect the game as much as maybe you, you'd prefer to because of that. Pudding turning in is going to cause him to take two torpedoes. You probably could have just taken the one if you turned out. I'm looking at the scoreboard. I realize I'm going to have to turn in sooner or later. Why? So I was just... Because I've got to take on the Mecklenburg. Got to figure out where the Holland's at. Because... Okay. Uh, like, we're losing, and I believe we're going to lose this game if we don't do anything. 
Uh, I know the timer is not working here, but it was like we needed kills and an, uh, okay. the other caps. By the way, Puddin, it looks like Kitten's got to run, so if you're able to hang out for a little bit longer, do some giveaways, very much appreciate it, sir. Okay. Save the star. I mean, our hot day is doing the Lord's work, well, you know, over at C2, or what, yeah. 7? I do like that you popped your hydro, you knew that the uh, Holland torpedoes are most likely coming your way, so that's smart. My boyfriend got a camo for a Jerua. I can't find it on ship in the game. Is it tier six? It's it's the Brazilian copy pot pot so yes. yes. the gallons. Sorry, I forgot that I forgot that ship existed for a minute. Hey, it does uh I think it's part of the Pan American, yeah. Yes. It's part of the Pan American group. It's Pan American. Yeah, technically the Jerua is a Brazilian ship, yes. Um, I actually have a really cool video on my channel where I sit down and talk to Mare Draco about just that. He sits and talks to me about the uh, all the design choices that went into uh, the Jerua. I just have to find it. My channel. Hello, YouTube, and welcome. Go away, myself. Here it is. Copy link address. There it is right there. Um, ignore the timestamp. Sorry about that. But yeah. Uh, oops. Hold on. There. Autumn, send that to your boyfriend. He'll enjoy watching because he'll understand a little bit more about... What caused the ship to be created the way it was? And in the meantime, Putin, you're suddenly running up against this Mecklenburg who turned around while you were pushing him. Well, I mean, I noticed that B was being captured. and So you know, the Holland wouldn't be. Yeah, I noticed my teammates cared more about the carrier than me. Well, that's typical. Uh, but I'm like, you know, if I can get this Mecklenburg low enough to where these guys just come and swoop and finish him and I end up dying at least i sacrificed myself for a near full health battleship well you know how much i love death pick so let's see if this happens no oh pudding you're disappointing me yes dd does something that just completely surprises me though oh doesn't go to b well i mean i'm looking at it thinking like their path to victory is he has to go to sea and kill me, which he could easily do with his guns. Uh, somebody's telling you that you are pure BS. That's... And you've got radio location telling you where the Holland is. That yeah, might... this might be a clan battle build. Mm. Okay. Okay. Just uh, so lazy to change it. I was wondering, something seems a bit off. And, like yes, Duckman, Drua is for sale now in the premium shop and armory. And how many Captain Whoops. resets have we have, and I still haven't changed this one? Perfect gameplay, Pudding. But, I, mean, I mean, I do like RPF on my cruisers, even for random random battles, because, like, my Hydro's down. Where do I need to point myself to try to mitigate torpedo damage? Right? Like, the Hindenburg's never going to sneak up on a destroyer, but I want to know yeah. where, where he's at to have my guns looking at them. What's up, Ishka? Uh, so here's the thing. Your, your Hydro is available. You haven't been detected yet. So what's really cool about that is you're going to be able to set yourself up so that if you get spotted, hey, you can pop your Hydro and most likely mitigate all those torpedoes. One torpedo is all it will take to kill you. So you kind of have to hope that this enemy Holland will go for your Thunderer instead of going for the Cap. If he went for the Sea Cap, He'll hit, he might kill you and grab sea cap. That's the worst possible scenario, right? Mm. But he went, he went for the Thunderer and stuff. Uh, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Pop your Hydro, you got him dead to rights right here. With six seconds to go, it doesn't matter. Boink, fries are done.
Yeah, I, I didn't think he'd come back like this. Well, that was such nice a kill. massive mistake on his part. Like, all he had to do was find you, kill you, cap C, and that was the game. Because he already right. had B. Went on two caps at the last minute. Let's uh let's slow down the uh the playback of this particular game. I'm gonna need to hide myself and Stevie. And we'll take a look at um top down view of what you guys what you ended up doing, Puddin. It was a very good game. It's a great example of how kiting away and just just shooting and just doing damage uh, gets gets uh, gets you all the rewards you ever needed, right? Well, I mean, the reason I was so passive at the start, mm -hmm. the battleships left, right? Mm -hmm. I have two DDs and a golden yep. shower. So the golden shower doesn't have range like I do, which means I'm going to be the one spotted taking all this damage. Yep. Why do I need to run up there to get closer? Uh, just shoot him from range. I like how you turned around when you saw the Thunder and, and Good and Leo, too. You're like, well, maybe these guys have a chance. And then you're like, no, nah, they really don't. And you just turn back around again. Use an end to spot those torpedoes. The best Hydro is sometimes going to be your teammates. Take advantage of teammates that are far ahead of you, and then just laugh yep not bad and here's the part where it's it's really just you plus a couple of other uh friendlies in b cap they managed to get the cap good oh, leo true. That Malta honestly ruined that game for you. Otherwise, you would have had a lot more health to trade on, and you wouldn't have been so close at the end. Yeah, Good and Leo actually manages to Dutch oven that Mecklenburg at the end there. That was pretty cool. Of course, I have one... If there's one thing I have to complain about, and this is just me being a stickler for things, against that Mecklenburg, when you turn full broadside, he also turned full broadside to get his cons off. AP, mm -hmm. right? Like, again, I, that's just me being a, a stickler for these things. Be like, use the armor piercing. Use the eye explosive. But I mean, here's the problem. To 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 switch over... Kichi, thanks for the follow. To, to switch over to AP requires you to be willing to take that risk that your shells won't hit in time while that, that enemy ship is broadside. I, I've fast-forwarded a little bit back uh to show it but here yeah that you could have used your ap there sure and then now he's coming back towards you and you're coming up to a point where you could have used it right about here you could have used ap right um eh. you know yeah, my what thing is it's german ap they need to maintain that full broadside this guy's maneuvering i'm maneuvering just stick with the HE, get the fires. If he decides to just keep sailing broadside, yeah, yeah. but I'm not going to do it for one shot that may or may not do something compared to if I hit him and get the fire because his DCP's out and he kills me, I'm uh, still doing damage to this guy. Right. That's understandable. All right. Well, let's move on to...